Well, you hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when is going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in the outfit. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jujitsu practitioner. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight. But Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United and States. Gave him, a, yeah, one, <laughs> it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 17 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. So you got to be mindful of the Masvidal power here early on. All right, here we go. Early round one. Going to be very interesting to see how long this fight stays upright, given the fact that he is so good with his ground game and submissions. He has to try to find a way to get to the mat. Even if he just drives in the takedown just to fall back to his back and start a grab. Oh, oh he's hurt hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes from top. 
Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, he's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has been... shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. It won't take many of those. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, single collar tie here. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Diaz is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Push him off. Push him oh, nice. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the... Start round two now, DC. Jorge Mosque versus Nate Diaz. What a fight. Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Well, not the most efficient effort we have seen. Oh. Oh. Right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops, oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out.
All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.